How do Indigenous people share their life stories? You can find Indigenous life stories through art, music, drama, literature, and many other forms of media. Land is a very important part of Aboriginal culture, and therefore the particular place to which each individual belongs is an important part of who they are. In this video we will focus on one particular group, the Jabukai people. The Jabukai people, which can also be spelt the same way as the Aboriginal Cultural Park in Cairns, are the indigenous population which live in tropical North Queensland, in areas including the Barren Gorge. As with other Aboriginal groups, the Jabukai people's culture is connected to land, and language is tied to the places and culture. The Jabukai language was spoken from Cairns to Port Douglas, and out to Mariba and Atherton. Other groups of Aboriginal people nearby also speak dialects of the Jabukai language. The Jabukai people's spiritual beliefs differ somewhat from other groups. They believe in a spirit of creation named Bularu, and, like other tribes, Stories of Bularu are passed down from one generation to the next. To the Jabukai people, all things come from Bularu, the source of life. The time of creation is known as the story waters or story time, unlike in other parts of Australia, in which it is known as the dreaming or dream time. It is said that the form of the barren gorge was created by a giant carpet snake. The ancestral being, the Buddhaji, is painted on the side of the train which takes visitors through the barren gorge to Karanda. The physical features of the land for the Jabukai people affirm the law of Bularu. The Jabukai people have come into conflict with European settlers in far north Queensland. In 1886, settlers created a railway from Cairns to Herberton. Settlers also took over traditional hunting grounds, which provoked the Jabukai people to react with violence. In 1890, John Atherton took revenge on the Jabukai people in the Spica massacre. Jabukai numbers fell as they were separated from the settlers and unable to hunt or fish, and their movement was restricted. In 2004, native title was recognised for the Jabukai people in Barren Gorge National Park. You can find out more about the Jabukai people at jabukai.org.au. The Jabukai people suffered greatly with the settlement of Europeans in the area in the 19th century. In recent years, however, tourism has provided a boost to their culture, and this is bolstered by the opening of Jabukai Aboriginal Cultural Park. The community has an opportunity to teach its culture and traditions, not only to the next generation of the Jabukai tribe, but also to the local community and to visitors from further afield. In particular, artefacts which visitors can buy are produced by the community. So the traditional land of the tribe, having become a tourist centre, is eventually giving something back to the community through revitalising Aboriginal culture. However, some criticism has been levelled at the park that not all profits return to the community.